Hi, I am Roxana from VP State Team and in this video I will show how to create a contact form using the contact form builder for Elementor. On this domain I have imported the main demo and next I will show the steps that you need to take to create a contact form on the home page. I have already prepared the place where the contact form will show. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will click edit with Elementor button. I will scroll down to the section that I have prepared for the contact. This is the one. I will look for the contact form builder widget. This is the one. I will add it in the section with drag and drop. You will have these default fields, but you can change them and add the fields that you want. I will add five fields. I will keep name with the current settings. You have full name selected for form fields. You have this label that you can change. You can see the change applying here. Also, you have the form field placeholder. This label will show here. You can set the field to be required or not. If this option will be set to yes, then the user will not be able to send the email without filling in this field. And here you can set the column width. I will set it to 50% as I want two fields per row. Next, I will keep email as well and I will set the column width to 50% as well. Next, I will add check-in and check-out dates. For that, I will keep booking from date, which is the check-in and only change the fields labels. I will also set it to be 50% of the space. I will add a new field. I will add booking to date, which will be the check-out field. I will add the form field placeholder text as well. I will set it to be required and set the column width. I will change the field order with drag and drop. I will move it below check-in. And lastly, I will leave message, which is the field where users will type their message. This is the field selected. For this field, you also have the option to select the number of rows for the text that can be typed. You can add as many items as you want. You can delete them and also you can duplicate them. I am done with the contact form fields. Next, you'll have the option to add the input size text. You can choose one of the available options. You can see that the text size changed. You can choose if the labels will show or not. If set to hide, then the form fields labels added here will not show in the form. And also you can enable the GDPR agreement option. If enabled, you will have a checkbox here with the text I consent to the GDPR terms and you can change the text here. Going further, you will have settings for the submit button. You can change the text you can change the button size, the button width, and the alignment. In the last section in content, you'll have email settings. Here you can change the email subject. The email sent from this form will go to the email address set in team options for contact. I will show. I will go to VP Rentals options. I will go to social and contact. And the emails will go to the email address set here. Going back to Elementor Editor, I will continue with the contact form settings. Next, I will go to Style. Here you can make settings for the contact form design. You have first the settings for the form. You can change form column gap. You can see that the space between the fields is changing. You can change the row gap value. You can make settings for form label. You can add here spacing. You can change colors for the text, you can change typography, you can change font family, font size, and make other settings for the text in the form. Next, you'll have a section for field style. Here you can change the color for the fields text, and also you can change typography. You can set a color for the field background. You can set a color for the field border. You can change the border width and border radius. Next, you'll have settings for GDPR. You can change text color and typography. And lastly, you have options for the button. You can change the color for normal state and hover state. You can change typography, border, and make other settings. I am done with setting the contact form. I will save the changes made. And on front end, the contact form will show like this. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.